Welcome to ETV Bharat. This is News Time. As many as 233 employees from the Delhi Women Commission were removed with immediate effect on the order of Lieutenant Governor V K Saxena on Thursday. It is alleged that the then chairperson of the Delhi Women Commission, Swati Maliwal, had appointed them without permission, going against the rules. Karnataka government stepped up pressure on the BJP with Chief Minister Siddaramaiah writing to PM Modi urging the latter to cancel the diplomatic passport of Prajwal Revanna over the alleged sex tape scandal in Karnataka. As the suspense over Congress's pick for crucial Amethi and Raibareli Lok Sabha seats continues, the Grand Old Party on Wednesday asserted that the decision on the matter would be announced on Thursday. Around 80 pharma factory workers in Himachal Pradesh's Solan who were abruptly terminated for sporting beards and mustaches staged protest demanding justice. Nationalist Congress Party chief Sharad Pawar on Thursday criticized Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying his speeches were not based on facts and reality. The Election Commission on Wednesday increased the polling time for the Lok Sabha elections in Telangana by an hour in view of the heat wave conditions prevailing in the state. The new timing would be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. against the earlier 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Comedian Sham Rangila, who made his name mimicking Prime Minister Narendra Modi, announced on Wednesday that he will contest the Lok Sabha elections against PM Modi from Varanasi. A day after Goldie Barad, the mastermind behind Sidhu Musewala's murder was trending on social media following reports that he was killed in California. The United States of America denied the reports, saying that there was a shooting in California, but it was definitely not Goldie Barad. The family of Anuj Thapan, the accused in the firing outside Salman Khan's house case, who died by suicide in police custody, claims he was killed and is now demanding a post mortem outside Mumbai. MS Dhoni, one of the finest finishers of all time, went under scanner last night on Wednesday when the former Chennai Super Kings skipper was batting at the end of the innings against Punjab Kings in the Indian Premier League 2024 at the M H Dhambaram Stadium, Chennai. Log on to etvbharat.com for latest news.